Hello, I'm Clemens. And I'm Jürgen. Today we want to show you the influence on construction parts when you want to measure bulk solids with radar. And what advantage does our new sensor Vega Pulse 69, thanks to 80 GHz, has in these applications? To show you some details, we have installed two radar sensors top here. One is working with 26 GHz and we use a horn antenna with a focusing of approximately 10 deg degrees. Directly in the front, we have installed the Vega Pulse 69, our radar transmitter for bulk solids with 80 GHz, and we have a beam angle of only 3 degrees. To simulate the reflection, we have a metal bracket here, which we put closer and closer to the center of the sensors. So first, we have installed the bracket in a distance of approximately 40 cm from the center of the sensors. The radar beam will hit this bracket because it's inside of the beam angle. On the echo curve, you can see two reflections, one from the ground floor and also a force reflection from this metal bracket. At the moment, we have a reflection, a force reflection, which have approximately a half size of this reflection of the bottom. So still a reliable measurement is possible. But in many applications, we will not get such a nice reflection. Part of the energy is always reflected on the side and the signal is getting smaller. And then the false reflection can be bigger than the, than the echo from the product. On the same situation, we have now a look on the Vega Pulse 69 with the three degree beam angle. So you see the beam is not hitting the metal piece and on the echo curve, you can see no false reflection. You have only the product echo. So this metal piece is not disturbing the 80 gigahertz sensor. He has only one echo and this is the product. So it's a very easy measurement for the Vega Pulse 69. So now get a little bit closer to the center and we have now only a distance of approximately 10 centimeter. So for sure the disturbance will be inside of the radar beam of the 26 gigahertz sensor. And if you have a look on the echo curve, these two echoes have approximately the same size. And it's not possible to get a reliable measurement out of this echo curve. So the sensor will show the distance to the metal bracket. With this short distance, we're already now hitting the beam angle of the 80 gigahertz sensor as well. So let's have a look on the echo curve. On the echo curve, you see a slightly fault signal, but very small, and you still have a very good product echo. So in this case, even if you have a product with bad reflecting conditions, you get a very safe measurement with the Vega Pulse 69. In practical applications, this means that we have a reliable measurement over the whole measuring range, even when you have build-ups or construction parts inside of your silo. So the Vega Pulse 69 is thanks to 80 GHz and a good focusing, the perfect sensor for all your bulk solid applications, especially if they are difficult installations.